Hello everybody, my name is Unpo, and it's something, it's something like, surprisingly just happened. Now, I never talk about this game for any time on this channel, and to be honest, I do play this game. I kind of wish more people would play it, and I think right now it is actually time. By the title of this video and the thumbnail, yes, um, there is basically big news for Nickelodeon All-Stars Bra. Now, before I actually start with the news, uh, sorry for basically um, any background noise is because this this thing I'm not actually at home I just got this so I'm recording this pretty quickly it's not trippy related but it's big news and I re really want to talk about it and because finally uh, there's two th of the three characters that are released for this uh, for DLC for this game is actually very hype now let's get to it so on the discord page of Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl the official discord server for Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl we have this from the man himself, Thaddeus Cruz. Honestly, if you check him out, because he does have a YouTube channel, he is one of the developers, I think, if I remember correctly. So yeah, here anyway, we have this at everyone. The universe is expanding. There is the YouTube trailer. I bet for this one, grab the universe pack today for nine one nine. Uh, uh, grab the universe pack for. 11.99 for access to three Nickelodeon legends: Jenny Walkman, which is out right now, Hugh, like Hugh Neutron, out this summer, and Rocco out this fall. And then we have the Steam thing. Now the thing is, I do not know if this is actually for everything. Currently, I don't know if Jenny's out on Switch, Play PS5, or Xbox. At this point, I do not know, but for what I know right now, is that Steam does have the character Jenny out right now. Whew, this is super hype because, here's the thing, a lot of people actually recommend Jenny, so it makes sense why she will come out first. I'm actually really happy that she does come to this game, so really happy, honestly, I think. Makes sense. Currently on YouTube, if you didn't, if you didn't really have this in recommendations that a lot like a lot of my life with the teenage robot content was on youtube for a while before this announced so possibly might be a surprise thing. i don't know i do not know but this is really good he neutron i do like he's a big name and been requested by fans for a long while and i think jenny and he are basically two of the characters that would bring a lot of people in Rocco is actually a pretty oddball in this one. I don't remember anybody actually recommending Rocco to be in All-Star Brawl, but I'm pretty happy he is in here. He is not he's not a fan favorite of mine, but to be honest, I am pretty happy that he did actually get into it because he is actually a big staple in Nickelodeon as well. I'm actually pretty happy for basically everybody's fan picks to be in this game right now. And of course, um how about we just react to the YouTube trailer, shall we? Also, a side note, um, even Thaddeus doesn't, didn't actually uh, think the um, game mill would actually announce all three characters at once. But a good thing that they did, so we actually have more things to look out for. Also, this would actually be a pretty good, um, how do I say this? Pretty good outcome for the game right now. Three DLC characters. Two of which are highly requested and one super classic Nickelodeon character uh, series. And we would have crossplay, hopefully, around this year because cross crossplay was actually promised for us this year. So, pretty happy. I am very proud of actually um, Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl to still have support to this day. And good job to the team. And good job to all the developers for basically still making this game possible. I know a lot of people don't really have much faith in this game currently because of I would blame Sora for and Smash Bros. I blame Nintendo for this for basically the whack um, scheduling of this game. But to be honest, it's still a pretty good game. And honestly, if you guys really want to know about my opinion on the game, um, it does live for the hype. I do love this game. Sadly, there's not enough people playing it around my area. A lot of people on the east side of the US are playing this, not much in the west. I'm pretty sad about that, but uh, 
I still play the game, it's still pretty fun, and I will actually buy this. Jesus Christ, first like Nintendo like pops all these stuff in and then like here we go. Nickelodeon on Star Brawl coming with the hype train right now. Oh my god. I cannot wait for Jenny. Jenny is actually my most recommended character for this one besides the rest of the Turtle Brothers, but like goddamn. Actually, you know what? Um yeah. Honestly, I kind of wish it was basically still the characters would be for free, but I do understand at this point they might need more support for their development to update and make the game much more better. And to be honest, I feel like it could have been if they, if like the team to that make this game had more time, but I think it was rushed by either Game Mill or Nintendo because. If you guys didn't know, there was a lot of things missing, but now those missing things are now added into the game. And basically, if you did pre-order the game, it, it was actually worth the 40 bucks, basically. Still worth 50 bucks right now, since you have these guys and the meme legend, Hugh Neutron. <laughs> Anyways, sorry for the long thing, let's react to the trailer right now. Before I actually start that, I'm very sorry, but we do have to have a poster. I'd like to thank uh, Generation Game to actually post this poster up. So yeah, we have Jenny. We have Jenny available now. Q in the summer, Rocco in fall. This is what they look. This is what they look like. Jenny looks stunning. Rocco actually looks pretty much good. It's like his two D reflect the three D. This is actually a really good one. And Hugh Neutron, surprisingly, he looks a bit more human than. Nigel, but like, man, I cannot wait to play as Hugh. Look at those ducks he has. I'm very hyped for these characters. Okay, guys, this is the trailer. Let's do this. Now, hopefully, I don't lag. And here we go. What you got for us? She got the tether grab, my god. <laughs> Combo, okay. That's interesting. Okay, I know these, but like, goddamn. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, there we go. There we go. Okay. Also, if you want to see the trailer for yourself, I will put the link in the description down below. Oh my fucking god. Okay, this is just so hype. Okay, so let's give a slight review on like this trailer right now. So, I'm just gonna mute this and we'll go back. Okay. So the trailer, we have a similar story. I actually like this. I think this is a reference to maybe uh, my, my Life as a Teenage Robot. I don't remember which episode. It's been a so long, my god. But I feel like this has been a reference. Because you see that there's like Reptar holding Zim. So I feel like this is a reference, but I really don't know. Okay, let's go further in. So like Jenny's base model, it looks really good actually. Honestly, I, I guess it's a little funky would be her face. The only thing, her little funkiness would be her, be her face because honestly, she does have that weird point for her face in the show, which I think is her nose. I don't know. I don't think the creators of My Life Teenage Robot actually uh, explained this, but like honestly, everything else looks really good. The shine, the color, the body, the face is actually much more, is very accurate to the show. Just, I think this, this, this part is a little funky. I don't know if you guys see my cursor. Do you guys see my cursor? No, you don't. You're, no, you guys don't. Uh, if you do see my cursor, it's right here. This is a, like a little funky part. I do like the detail they gave her, so that's pretty good. Let's actually skip a little bit more. That's a cute idol animation. Let's see it. That's really cute. So I think this one is might be her indent on the face to impose the shadow. I get it's this model 
is very good. The two they translated to the 3D almost perfectly. I just think it's a little funky with this part because I don't know. But it's this animation style. It is like a art style that the show did, so like they have to include it. So it's really good. I like it that they change XJ9 to Jenny. That that's like a good thing. So like okay. I think this is a reference, but I really don't know. All these moves. Okay. She has a rocket. So I think if I'm correct, if I'm compared to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I think she is basically okay. I'm gonna say that most of her most of her stuff is actually pretty similar. It's basically like more original, nothing like I can base off of. But like comparing this to like her long tether grab, look at this. You see that? You see that? That's the tether grab and the missile, homing missile. So I'm actually kind of guessing that this is like a mixture. Possibly she might be a mixture of another character and Samus, like this regular Samus from, you know, Smash. I feel like that's the thing, but like I could be wrong. But it might be just references. No, not a reference. Well, maybe they reference, like, use the character as a reference. But, like, uh, I don't know. If you guys know what I mean, I hope you do. But, like, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just so high break now. Oh my god. Okay. So, missile. And then we have the tether arm. So, she's gonna have the biggest grab in the game, I bet. Okay, that. Um, I don't know. Maybe she was just shuffling her feet. But I really don't know, because it looks like he was just dancing on them or something like that. Oh, Hilda's face, I mean, <laughs> okay, that's bad, but I don't know, I think mean, that's a good frame to pause on. Just caption this, please, I don't know. It's the buzzsaw blade, and they're like, oh god. Wait, 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 what's that again? Okay. Okay, so she might be a mixture of uh, okay, she could be a mixture of Samus and possibly Me Gunner or Rob, maybe Samus Rob. I don't know. That's the closest thing I can get because of that back air. I think that's a back air. Let's continue. She has laser eyes. Oh my god. Okay, that laser eye. Those laser eyes shoot so far. My god. She's going to be a toxic character for sure with those laser eyes just to give people. I mean, like God, come on. Also, that combo Garfield that the Garfield was popping off with that pie throw. My God. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's just uh, continue on. Wombo combo air. Okay. Her dash attack. Her down smash. Okay. That's good. Okay. Now this one. This part. The full minute, I know it's supposed to be Hue Neutron, but I do not remember, even with that, even with the obvious shoe right there. Um, but goddamn, so like Hue Neutron comes in with a motorcycle on the street. This is the bus stage, and okay, I'm gonna predict that Hue Neutron. Okay, we don't see any gameplay for Hue. That's kind of a little disappointing, except for this. So I'm betting this might be his side special. Um, he might be either a mix mixture of two characters, I presume, with some originality. But I think like the bases, if we can base this off of Smash, would be he, he would be a mixture of one character and uh, Wario or Bowser Jr. Thanks to this, if it's Wario and he can pick up that motorbike, that's going to be very interesting. But if it's Bowser Jr. We, I don't know how he actually pockets that uh, motorcycle, but it beats me. But like, this is good actually. Hue Neutron actually really represents like his series. Honestly, I'm surprised that Hue's here and not Jimmy. Not yet, anyways. But I guess because Hue is like a big meme and basically the more, more popular character at this point, I think it makes sense that they put him in here. Although it could be just for the memes, I don't know. But hey, I'm happy for him. I don't mind. And I do not mind that Jimmy is not actually in this game yet because Hugh actually makes up for a lot of it. And uh, come on, we have Nigel Thornberry, which is another father character. Now, who would win between the dads? That's what I want to know. I cannot wait for this character to come out in the summer. Okay, motorcycle. Is there anything else? I kind of forgot. No. And, and then the, and then Rocco just appears. And Rocco just appears. No fanfare. Just boom, Rocco. That's it. Actually, that's actually pretty good. I guess that's okay. If they stop at Hugh, that would have been a very good way to 
end the video right there, the trailer. But we have Rocco, and I guess, okay, Rocco's a good surprise too for other people, since because he's shorter, but I don't know. Okay, so like, it makes sense to give Jenny most of the spotlight because she is out right now. Maybe on PC only. I don't know at this point, because I'm not at home, as you can see. But, um, uh, yeah, you? Oh my god, dude, god. Okay, it, I, I kind of, w okay, personally, I do wish that this pack was basically for, uh, 9 bucks, 8 bucks, because eleven ninety nine, twelve 12 bucks basically, for uh, 3 characters for DLC. I guess that kind of scales up to, like, what Smash Bros. did. 20, like, let's see, 5 characters for... Let me do quick maths a little bit. Okay, so basically the estimate I actually did is basically that each character for this game will technically be, um, would actually be like three ninety nine, which is cheaper than any Smash character. Makes sense because their move set is basically much more simplified. But I kind of wish that if you get all these three characters together, it would just be like um. 10 bucks, 9.99. I would actually love it like that. But unfortunately, I don't know. Like, you can get these characters to be like 4.99 or 3.99 each, and then you have a pack that's basically like 10 bucks, basically, to get the whole game. And you have one day free access, I don't know. Well, one day early access, I don't know. I don't know how the battle passes. I, battle pass, oh god, fuck. Um, I mean, fighter pass for this game. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work, but man, I think, uh, personally for me, I would wish that this was basically 10 bucks and not 11.99 because at this point, I think if you want to bring more fans in, I think you should like decrease the price a tad bit, but honestly for me, I would still buy this. 12, not like 12, basically 12 bucks for basically Jenny, Hugh, and then Rocco. Two of the three characters I love so much in my childhood, and then Rocco is just nostalgia filled. I just, I just love these three characters. Basically, these, basically just Jenny, Hugh, but like Rocco's up there too. I'm glad that Rocco and those Rocco fans that, yeah, Rocco fans actually have the character in here as well. But honestly, I'm very happy that all these three, because all these three in their respective shows are big names. So, like, pretty good. Good job. Good job. Okay. Well, that is basically it for the video. Now, um, before you guys ask, will I actually do gameplay of this game? Unfortunately, no, because I do not have a capture card. And if I really do want to like play some games on it, I do. There's not enough people in the west side, especially on the Discord server. There's not many people on the west side of the US that I can actually play with that would not experience so much lag. Did I also mention that this game actually has net, like has net, like um rollback net code? Rollback is so much so good in this game, and actually all hits do hit, even though. It's not really that fair because because of like those hits that do hit as a guarantee because of the rollback or at least like it will it will try to translate to a perfect hit. Um, kind of makes you see that how unfair most moves are, and I guess that's the one thing a smash smash has like doesn't have rollback. So like any hits that didn't seem to hit doesn't seem to be that OP, but then like it would be. Like close calls and stuff like that, but uh, I guess that's enough comparison. Overall, um, if you haven't buy the Glorian All Stars Brawl, I would at least at this point give it a try. And as you know, you guys should actually buy this game because honestly, it needs more support because this game is actually pretty good. And currently, it's at fifty bucks basically. It's not a triple A game, so like, it's at fifty bucks right now, and with Every single added thing they added in, every fix, every new mode, every new option that you can use to play, like CPU versus CPU, because originally you cannot do that. And then there's some lots of other stuff, and they're like, yeah, 
at this point, I do recommend you guys buying this game and then buying the DLC pack because this game right now is going to be fire. Especially, it's a good now. It's a good time to actually play this game basically right now because again, there's basically um, Thaddeus last time told us that we will be getting crossplay. So that means Switch can play against PS for the PlayStation. Like, like, yeah, Switch can go against PlayStation, PlayStation can go against Xbox, PC can go against anybody. PC players will actually have the advantage, don't get me wrong. But, like, honestly, this is going to be a very good year for Nuclear All-Stars Brawl. I just hope that they could actually fulfill most of the stuff that they actually have planned out, especially with the crossplay. Hopefully, crossplay does come out this year. Now, if that doesn't happen, I will still support the game. And uh, yeah, I will actually still support the game. And once I actually have enough money to get a capture card and hopefully uh, maybe a stronger computer, use a stronger computer because my computer kind of sucks right now. As you can see when I actually play my Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel stuff here in the channel. But like, goddamn, super hyped. Claps all around for the, for the, for the team, basically. And also, thank you, Thaddeus, for basically posting out that video. I am actually recording this the day that an announcement was made, so like that, re so that's my reaction is actually really much more genuine right now, and I'm just so hyped, and man, cannot wait to go home and play it. Actually, now I think about it, I cannot really go home and play it directly right now. I mean, I could, but uh, for one thing, this might just be PC first, so I might have to wait a little bit longer for Switch. Second, I I have finals next week so I have to study maybe you one game wouldn't hurt right anyways I'm Sun Po <coughs> sorry anyways I'm Sun Po and yeah thank you for watching and hopefully you guys will also check out that game check out Nickelodeon Stars Brawl it's a very good game and it is worth your while to play if you like to play Smash, I, if you like to play Smash or any other platform fighting game, you will love this game as well. Especially now it's more balanced as of now. It's still on that process like Smash was before. But like, it's a good game if you want Smash with Nickelodeon player, uh, Nickelodeon characters. I highly recommend it. I love the game. Even with the dying hype of the game. still love it to death, honestly. <sighs> I know this is not a curvy video, but goddamn, the hype is so real right now, and it's big news. I cannot sleep if I didn't make this video. So yeah, that's the news. Catch you later.